what uh, so much, like I said, so much happened this year. And if, if we, if some of you guys were here last year, you might remember that I talked about what a uh, what uh, a crazy year it was. That was 2010, of course. But uh, you know, in hindsight, 2010 was pretty serene. I got to say, 2010 wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, Let me be flat for it. It was peaceful in Norway. U.S. bonds were AAA, and who knew from DSK, all oh, that was yesterday. That Sheen kid was once so absorbed with his little show, in that land of mistletoe, known as 12 months ago. Last year, Tucson and Tuscaloosa lay peaceful, serene, and secure. So much has gone under. No wonder we call 2010 way back when. <laughs> Once life was a lark, college football was fun. Now the clubs have come up and the horseplay is done. All the aunts may have pitted and clown. Carried off my old southern home, Fukushima, how I pine for the China syndrome. Back in ten, tiger moms were tame, but a letter was a brand new game. Now Broadway's countmen and heartless, they're chuckling over AIDS. Rich men once were make out artists, now they're raping chambermaids. Free markets are out, occupying is in. Easy living, like Joplin is born with the wind. Now we lay this dead year down. Beneath the words wasn't fooling around. Woo! 2011, what a year it was! I can't believe it! We're here in Fitzgerald's for one more end of the year yeah! so. With Casey McDonough and all the guys. Hey, salute to the great year just passed. And what a great extravaganza we have tonight. Yeah, like the rap and the tip. Yeah. Well, no rap but still a pretty good show, yeah. No rap in the Well, I don't know, it's a long story and I don't want to get into it, but yeah, but there's so much good stuff that we do have, that's what I want to concentrate on. Yes, like uh, like Gerald, the science-loving cowboy. <laughs> yeah, like that. I mean, maybe, if we have time for it, we'll do that. That'd be great. But uh, also, what? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. May, uh, no, no, I, 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 what? I love Gerald the Science Loving Cowboy. I'm just saying, if we have time, there's a, you know, we'll fit it in. We have the costume. It's all made, and there's a lot of science news this year, Robbie. <laughs> no, I, I love science as well as the next fella, but a lot of stuff happened this year. If we had time to get to even half of it, it would be Robbie, great. Uh, you know, but um, it would... Excuse me. Um, can I give the uh, headlines from the Milwaukee perspective this year? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, you've never, ever given the headlines from the Milwaukee perspective before. Well, I've been giving it a lot of thought this week, and you know, you know, the news from up north. Derriere, Mike. <laughs> there is no Milwaukee perspective. The Milwaukee perspective is not a thing, Mike. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, you know, sometimes nothing can work for you. Uh, like, think of the Seinfeld show. No? <laughs> well, I, I assume I'll be doing all the token minority characters again this year. Now, why would that be? <laughs> I don't know, but just the way it is. Anytime there's a character with this pigment darker than the slightest blush, you got me in a turban or a Nehru jacket. Have you seen Gerald? He gets strip searched at every airport he goes to. I don't know what he is. Anyway, I guess maybe it's different this year. You know, no, no rap of the dead. But of course, I gotta do Bin Laden again. Right? Gerald, well, is there a reason to do Bin Laden this year? Or? Gerald! Oh. You, you were following the news, right? My Blackberry was down one week. I hope I didn't miss anything big. Uh, well, trust me, you'll want to, you know, parade out that costume one more time. Then you can retire it. You know, unless Zach Galifianakis gets in the news or something. <laughs> all right, all right, go put it on. We'll see what happens. 
So there's a lot of changes happening in the world. I can't hardly believe it, you know, it goes by so fast. In a way, I'm gonna actually miss that kooky Al-Qaeda leader. <laughs> Pre-11 was lax, it was rather absurd. Why Bin Laden roamed around just as free as a bird? Now it wasn't just his corpse we around. It was years and years of fooling around. Ceiling crisis, the walker recall. You had to be unemployed to keep up with it all. If you're rested by the old rose vine, then a letter left you far behind. It was decades to go to Sarkozy, the day to the end. Now it's Oprah, right to Rosie. Mayor Daly, straight to Rock. Yes, that old march of time has turned to a sprint, and the way the news travels. It's too fast to print, makes the old days look high-bound. 99 was a dawdle, 2000 a coast. 01, every day was like a breeze, almost. 02 through 07, what a party we had. 08, in hindsight, not really that bad. In 09 was the acorn, the state near the oak. Through 10, I was thinking this is surely a joke. But 11, Christ in heaven. To stick a needle into Rahm Emanuel's eye. <laughs> how much discomfort he could bear. If I could just be certain of a clean get away, I'd like to stick a needle in the mare. <laughs> Did you ever have a friend who was so testy? The smallest thing could make him rent and roar. And instead of the effect that you'd respect him, you just had to fuck with him all the more. <laughs> so I like to stick a needle into all the man who's and then I walk into his underwear. I'd sneak up oh so quietly, smack his nuts and flee. <laughs> To stick a needle in the mail. Just you fucking try it. <laughs> oh, hiya, Mr. Mayor. You stick a needle in me, will you? Oh, you were listening. Look, that was just a song. That was just words. I was just trying to entertain these children here. A lot of them here tonight. Children, I love those fuckers. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Why don't you make up a verse of your own? I'm sure you've got a lot of violent fantasies. <laughs> oh, I'd like to take a hatchet to some government services and put our city budget in the black. Oh, if I could fire a fireman, how happy I would be. What a joy to give some SOB the sack. Then I'd like to break the legs of some musician <laughs> Just to hear him plead and cry for help Yes, I'd like to kill and bury every trace of your career But I can see you've done the job yourself Just a song. Oh yeah, of course, just a song. <laughs> Oh, we'd like to stick some needles deep into each other's eyes But only in good fun, it's all for show For this is no children's singer, he's the legend Robbie Fulks And this is the semi-legendary Joe Dempsey, everybody, Joe Dempsey Wonderful of you to be here Wonderful We're all